as Bedwas prepare to welcome Swansea in the last league match of the season. The rugby network have come up to us from Anachta speak to head coach Stefan Sankala as the club battle to preserve the Principality Premiership status. So Stefan, uh, one game left in the 2018-19 season. How would, sort of, would you reflect on how it's gone for Bedwas this year? Uh, it's been challenging. Um, it's been, you know, it's, it's an enjoyable season. Uh, however, um, you know, post uh, sorry pre-season, you know, we all knew the expectations of of losing the ring fence and, um, and the threat of relegation. So, you know, um, it's been a challenging one, uh, both on and off the pitch, um, and, and, and certainly coming up the final week of the season, there's been uh, it's, it's some added stress as well, you know. But nonetheless, you know, we knew exactly where we were. Um, we knew where our targets were, and unfortunately, we didn't quite meet those targets. Uh, but we're still in the fight. And you talk there, obviously, um, still in with a fight. Uh, need some other results to go your way, but obviously you need to get the job done as well. Sort of, what sort of pressure does that put on the players and, and your coaching staff then? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's quite realistic of of of, of what's at stake. Um, but also, you know, we we've, we've we've had two different approaches really. We've we've put the pressure on the boys and and us as a club, and um, and at times we've uh, we've come through that pressure and, and, and delivered, and at other times uh, not not quite so, you know. So we've taken the mantle of the last two or three weeks where it is what it is. Um, you know, let's go out and enjoy it uh, first and foremost, and um, and, and try to put a performance in because we know we, you know if we play to our potential, then ultimately the results will come our way. Um, but yeah, time is running out. Um, unfortunately, but yeah, the boys seem to be enjoying it at the minute, and I'd like to say that we've released that pressure valve a little, uh, and certainly that proved dividend, should we say, against Aberavon last week. Yeah, and you mentioned the Aberavon game. I was sort of going to pick up on that—a a big win against the team who, the last couple of seasons, have been up there, sort of fighting for the league title. Does that give the, la- the lads a, a big confidence boost going into this game against Swansea? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Um, it certainly has momentum for sure. Um, you know when. The, the belief has always been in the squad. If you know, if we're honest, you know, from a from a close tight network that we have and the, and the climate that we've produced, uh, the boys are quite um, quite confident. It's just been a, you know at times we're not quite getting that performance that we have hoped for, uh, and results have, haven't gone our way. You know, but as I mentioned earlier, we, we are in the fight, and, and the boys know exactly what's at stake, um, and um, and we know that if we turn up on Saturday, we're certainly going to give Swansea a good old fight. And and obviously the this season the the ring fencing around the Premiership comes to an end. Um, you are sitting in the relegation zone. Sort of at the start of the season, did you as a club have targets of where you'd have liked to have sort of been placed coming into the last weekend of the season? Well, of course, absolutely. I think everybody, every club is going to be the same. You know, we certainly want to survive. I think that was the first and foremost. Um, and then looking at the sort of last couple of seasons that we've had, uh, we've always done relatively well and finished in the top four, top five. You know, so we've we've had our place in the Premiership, should we say? Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you have to you have to deserve uh, to stay in this competitive league. Um, and I know a lot of clubs had, had went out and spent a lot of money um, trying to reinforce their squads for this year in particular. You know, when we weren't one of those clubs, we tried to build from within and uh, and, and develop in, in what's a, a very um, rewarding season, should we say, for clubs who can remain in the Premiership. Uh, but no, you know, we, we haven't hit those targets as we would have liked. Uh, but we, you know, we're quite reflective as a coaching group as well, and we are also realistic. And you know, we know that we got to win Saturday, and you know, we'd like to think with a bonus point, um, and then it's over. It's over to Bridgend. And should the the, the worst happen, how, how much of a hit would it, would it be for Bedwas as a as a, as a club uh, as a, as a town? Should they fall back into the the championship? Yeah, I think it's a big hit. You know, if I'm being perfectly honest, we're, we're very much used to um, to being in the top flight of this of, of the rugby leagues, uh, and I think we've earned our place. Um, and we've played some really good rugby uh, along the way over the, over the 10, 12, 12 years that the Premiership has existed, you know, and for a, for a bed of us not to be out, to be in that club, you know, we're not a traditional club uh, with, with all the niceties, should we say, but we're certainly a hard-working uh, community club. Um, and I think, you know, we, we, we certainly represented the Premiership uh, quite well over the years. It's just happened to be that uh, this, this year is even more so challenging. Um, yeah, and, and, and it's down to us, but it'll be a, you know, a big hit for the club. But we're quite a resilient club also. Uh, we've got some resilient people involved. Uh, and I'd like to think that if we did go down and it was the worst to happen, uh, we're certainly in that competitive nature that we'd uh, fight for challenging to go back up.